Welcome guys to Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm excited to play this one. I actually got into the series not too long ago playing the original. I know I'm late to the show, but it was amazing. I can't wait to jump into this one. I am playing on the Xbox. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Let's see what we got here, guys. I kept a blind eye to this. I want to see nothing on it. I like that saying. As our Fevremont suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment. Slow. the rightful inheritor of the dragon throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Ramon! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. The 
the prisoner to use her. He said. Aha! I thought I recognized you. Okay. Damn, that looks like the penguin. It looks like Curly. Let's go this. Oh, that's height. I thought it was that weight. <laughs> we'll keep it. We'll make him a giant. Head, upper body. I'm not too crazy, like, with the customizations. Eyes, eyelashes, lips, teeth. Eh. Body tattoos. I'm not going to go too crazy. Oh, his voice. I didn't see that. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna go fighter. I think I did thief. I did a double dagger in the previous one, if I'm correct. So I'll do fighter this time. Aim. Viking. Age. Like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards.
yourself a new sword next time. Where's my car? Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. I, this I don't is know no why place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. This crap. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap our ought that post it. Guess here. A job well done. Now the next step is to. Yes. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Hello. The damn thing's been awoken. You can't fell that fiend, even at the cost of your lives. But, uh... 
when delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend. Oh shit. I'm gonna just. I almost got her anyway, so what am I doing? What kind of escape was that? Are you unharmed? You won't see while well you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Marissa. Become a summit. The accursed creature escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! This way. Imagine running Let barefoot on this. Holy. Stepping on a pebble. Ah. Oh. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Griffin? Don't just stand there! Shoot it down! It's getting away! Bring it down! Bring it down! Go now, lost soul. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. I'm hyped, guys. There we go.
Pray, keep your distance, or is it? Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you alright? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly north like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being set. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it! If you find your strength flagging, then buy the curacy or have a bit of green there. When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the arm. Make use of the slope, it will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, then... Have you beheld the dragon? What's this? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast ever more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of monsters. Where are you going? I'll not uh -oh. force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Uh, where are you going? Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
You will summon your main pawn. I'll do a preset for now. Let's see how it comes out. Wait, go back. Do a preset, create a new. Let's... I forgot about this. Hmm. Name him after my dog. Pawns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception, and my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Catching a ripstone to Arisen can travel to the bridge. Yeah, I kind of remember that. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, tis worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Okay. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Level two. Oh, what's this? This is generally used as a material. That's a watchtower, all right. I think we looked around a little bit. I'll carefully conserve my strength 
and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Uh. Hey oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Thad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. We must fly to the aid of those in need. So, this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. I've a selection of wares that's sure to please. Pleasure doing business with you. Easy. Charge! Go for his feet! What am I supposed to do here?
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you... Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Marison. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad the ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Someone must have the answers we seek. That dragon looked crazy. Have you oh. some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost, do I not, sir? You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I had tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir, I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I'd thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. You can buy new materials to create a new item. Okay, cool. We could make the fruit reborrant ourselves or simply purchase some at Runa's Apothecary here in Mel. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. 
There's a ladder here. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you'll find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Common reward, frustratingly so. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. We may benefit from pursuing the information. to do. He really ought to have returned by now. Hale, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding, a task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. A Saurian nest so near the village is worrying indeed. Let us see the explosive casks there as quickly as we may. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Very well. Speak with me once you've finished. I fear I must stray from the thread of our conversation to tell you. We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. See if I can hit it, guys. Yeah. Find a place to harvest some ingredients. 
<laughs> that was pretty easy. I felt bad. They kind of look like iguanas. Let's report back. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest. Watch it thrown in the water. Now right. we're to throw a jar of poison. Be sure to handle it with care, Master. Alright, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Rock. Yeah, I had him there. I had to give him my dog's name. I'm guessing this is their net. Guessing this is their nest. Well done, Master. Those Saurians shan't dare approach the village for some time, thanks to your efforts. You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Strong as hell to throw that. Watching you got me thinking. Mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. Our task is complete. Okay, we're ready to go. Make haste then. We must leave anon. Good. Then let us be on our way. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Are these things? Your ribs have been drenched. You bastards. You know what? Oh. Wait, I got... Let me check something. So I gotta deliver the fruit. I gotta go back. Just to get the XP. Um, I don't think it was that far. Oi, where do you think you're going? I made a wrong turn.
He was, what, around here somewhere, right? He really ought to have returned by now. Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit rubber in for me? So this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. Okay, that gave us 500 XP, so that's pretty good, too. All right, let's head back to our main objective. Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermont. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet not all prevails. Our kingdom sees many pretenders. They are not so like us. Might we remove this hindrance somehow? If a raid. We've got goblins! Having more of these to hand will serve us well in battle. Halt! Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying- It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate.
An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. I've been at this for quite some time. Goblins, master! Well done, Master. Now, what might that be? That was hard one. This place makes my hair stand on end. Should trouble occur, it is my charge to set it right. A quiet day is a welcome one.
A fine place to harvest some ingredients. What's this? We're trapped! Aye! A Cyclops! To think we didn't count one here of all the places! Cyclops! Pray, be on your guard! Seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Goodness, no yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. I think I was talking here. 20 men at 120. Fight me. Remember 120? Right at the Cyclops. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be. Ah, here's the cart now. Oh, great. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox. 
I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. That reminds me, ought we not add an archer to our ranks? No? Very well. It is your decision. Begging your pardon, sir, but I'm on duty. I shall remain by your side. We're setting out. Jump on if you're paid. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. This is generally used as a material. Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir.
Seems we drove them off. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. I was informed of your coming, would be a- Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed. He is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct Your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? <laughs>
all right guys so that's it for this episode of dragon's dog with two let me know what you think in the comments down below are you gonna be picking this one up or skipping it we have a lot of games actually coming out this month i'd like to know what you guys think that cyclops was kind of a pain in the ass i ain't gonna lie goblins we're back to the goblins hopefully they change up the anime variety we'll see in, uh maybe the next episode or another one after that catch the next one